Hey, welcome to the Sad Chick Cocoon, a channel dedicated to emotional and past life karmic killing and breaking the generational curses to activate the divine feminine within. So we see that the divine feminine or this caterpillar is being reassigned um, a new love partner, okay? A new divine masculine, okay? So... We're going to go ahead and jump into this reading. We're going to start off with the astrology deck again. So let's see what we have for session 10. No, this is session 11. We have Lilith energy coming out with the 11th house at the bottom of the deck. So we'll take those two, all right? So we're going to look at this Lilith energy and this 11th house. It's interesting because they're both coming out in purple energy, which is giving me um, the energy of your intuition, the energy of like like magic, psychic powers, okay? Um, again, yeah, that's what that's given. We know the 11th house is all about the realm of um, friendship, okay? It's the realm of being rebellious as well, okay? Um, so, this is going against, you know, going against what people think of you, right? This is just really thinking outside of the box when you... M co-create and bring things into reality so let's see this Lilith energy is about the shadow okay so you're manifesting from your shadow okay um is what i'm getting okay or you're you're you are creating friendships from your shadows okay the Lilith energy is all about the darkness it, it is power but it's mystery energy is is wild energy is um multifaceted and wildly misunderstood um this energy is where she Lilith was was Adam's first wife well she was created to be Adam's first wife but she was actually Lucifer's first wife, right? Um, and it, it's in astrology, she has four different forms. So when you when when you see this energy come up, it's like it's time to stand up for yourself um, after you face some type of backlash or future or future or further punishment from that. Okay, it's like don't back down. Don't back down in some type of friendship dynamic. Don't back down um, when it comes to the potential and with something it's like you have to call upon this power when your womanhood when you feel like you don't have enough strength left so if you're in an energy where you are releasing the past okay and you don't feel like you can go on this is when you want to call upon Lilith, okay, to help you deal with the shadow aspect. So since we got this shadow aspect, let's just go straight to the moon oracles. So we have self-love. We have beauty, nourishment, and creation. So again, we see another energy in this session as well as the last session where you're manifesting where you're co-creating okay but the the main focus has to be on self the main focus needs to be um focusing on you because you just had a major realization and you're purifying yourself and you're manifesting and calling in pleasure so you're shifting your mind so that you can have spiritual discernment when it comes to being in your power and activating this new life yeah you're having a you're, you're moving toward the new beginning but there has to be some self-reflecting and this self-reflecting here starts with this self-love i feel like that's the energy that you've been avoiding okay so it's like before you can have this manifestation your beauty has to come into balance right there's some nourishment some 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 yeah some some 
vitamins, some some strength, some, yeah, that you need from the universe, okay? And, and you're going to get that, but they have to see that you're putting in the work, right? That you have shifted the energies from a divine connection to self, back to self, okay? Um, so it's like, yeah, people because last week we we had a divine masculine interfere with a divine feminine energy but today we see that you know that energy isn't even a reality right that's someone's fake reality or a projection that someone is having that is going to cause a setback, okay? Someone trying to block, because we saw last session that someone is going to try to manipulate. So that, that, that divine masculine did come into your reading to manipulate you and to think that they were coming in to keep you in the energy of holding on, of waiting, of not moving on. They're trying to sabotage your your future okay and so we not having that okay so i'm seeing some a, a lot of manifestation energy coming forward for you okay and so with this energy like i say you're creating the blueprint right for what it is that you you truly want so that is why your mind has to be on it has to come from a, a higher place, right? It, it can't be creating from a place of darkness because you're you're calling in your sh your your karmic masculine versus your divine masculine. Okay, so moving on. Let's help you with this energy. So self-love, that came right out. We have the kyanite. So it's all about you deepening your perspective in this energy, okay? Um, reality is reality. You can deal with it like an anxious chihuahua, or you can get down with kyanite and align to the moment and with your calm and cool intact, right? So again, right? nurturing yourself during this time loving yourself during this time right because as you continue to deepen your perspective and, and gain hidden secrets and knowledge and wisdom and truth about this connection right about this karmic masculine you're showing off your sparkle right you're showing off your sparkle so we have this beauty energy here where I feel there's a transformation happening within your you and, and your your outer beauty, okay? Yeah, you're getting ready to shine your brightest here, right? You're getting ready to be in this energy of of this diamond. So there is an engagement coming for you, right? It just wasn't with the right person, right? Again, it is, you you have to power wash your energy so it can come in, right? There, there. That's what's at the root, at the the base of your reading here, right? It is raising your vibration, raising the vibration of the uh, masculine that you're calling in as well, not. But not saying that you're still calling in that same masculine. No, you've already been assigned a new one. It's just getting on the frequency of that one. And then this creation, this creation. Yeah, you're shining your brightest, right? This is you. It says when it's time to beam your own unique light through the darkness for all to see. Own it with diamond, okay? Own your beauty, own your 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 gift right your your perspective your insight right and, and protect your light protect your light because people are trying to again sabotage your manifestations okay so um you're definitely in the energy where you're acting on your dreams and people see that and people are trying to sabotage you okay so um this is you you definitely want to use this black tourmaline anytime you take public transportation anytime you find yourself in a crowd um anytime you um like are around people and you can hear um 
you can hear or feel people pulling on your energy, okay? So, again, like I said last week, when that masculine interrupted and, and took over your reading, right? It, it was a, an, an attack, okay, um, on your psyche, all right? And so, that's why you have to protect yourself, okay? So, you need to be wearing black tourmaline at all times because you're getting ready to act on your dreams and and you're you're really really drunk on your higher self at this time and you transformed your life on earth and and people are and you have to keep your cool about it right and go with your gut because like i say people are in an energy where they they don't want you to receive what it is you're receiving especially if they aren't a part of it okay so yeah So let's see. You're deepening your perspective here. You're going higher, right? You're elevating, you're ascending. Um, let's go to the stars. So we're going to clarify, and we have flow, we have the ruby star coming out, and that's interesting because when I set the um, crystal deck down, that's what's at the bottom, the ruby, feed your fires, okay? So yeah, this is the energy where you're embodying your authentic and sensual essence, right? Again, that self-love, um, again, getting back to pampering yourself, getting back to a sexy energy, getting back to, um, yeah, a very seductive place, right? Um, and, and a very beautiful place, okay? Um, so where you're shining, right? Where you're, you're literally... <laughs> the brightest star out there okay and we have life lessons because of these life lessons yeah and see the thing is you you allow your beauty to activate this rebirth to be the light through your shadow through your deep spiritual growth right through your deep spiritual growth you remain in your beauty in, in yeah in this beautiful state right you didn't you didn't it was like you did it with a lot of grace, right? You went through this this transformation, this this inner temple, and and came out a star, came out shining bright like a diamond. Okay, um, so we have the little star, divine. So again, your inner child is now healing and 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 really becoming whole as you power wash your energy and receive this nourishment from the universe okay because again your divine magic is very powerful which is why you have to protect it okay you you really um by healing your inner child you really like up the power of your magic okay and so your manifestation are coming in quicker and we have battled the amazon queen exactly protecting yourself you're a devoted warrior of the universe right and so you had to battle to get here right and you will battle anybody that will try to take your your gifts and your manifestations from you right but again you have come so far you've battled to get here and you've won the battle and that's why you're receiving these manifestations which is going to put you in the energy of again being the storyteller right setting these intentions and narrating your own life and then being able to display that right which is why people again they, they see that they see you setting these intentions and things coming into fruition for you and last but not least, we have the morning star, right? So, like I say, it's like something is going to shift, like, 
overnight, right? It's like one morning you're going to wake up and you're going to be this radiant star that is in your birthright, that, that is shooting for the stars, right? This is you in your energy, right? This diamond star, I like, can't make it up, okay, that has now reached this level of destiny, right? Where you're focusing on your higher purpose, right? And so that's amazing energy. You are actually um, manifesting a dream come true. And so, yeah, because you are this medicine woman, you are healed, right? You healed yourself, you nourished your mind, your body, and your soul. And now it's time for you to receive what it is that you're supposed to be receiving, okay? But again, in order for you to receive that, you have to let go of things that no longer serve you. So this flow, what we need to know about this flow. Clarify this flow. Clarify flow, please. Thank you. So we have the 10 of earth. Okay, that's that. That's it. In the original tarot, like the Ten of Earth would be like the Ten of Pentacles, okay? But in this tarot, it's given harmony, it's given authenticity, it's given reward, okay? Yes, you're getting ready to receive a reward, okay? You are, um, you gained a lot of strength from this this battle that you've gone through okay you now understand your place you now understand your purpose okay and so you are now moving through life with surety okay which is amazing energy so we have coming out for the inner temple these life lessons that you had to grow spiritually through yeah you 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 knock these lessons out the park okay we have this four of fire coming out and this four of fire is given uh defeat right is given action is given you know you actually doing what needed to be done right you created a good work ethic when it came to you actually learning the lessons you paying your dues right you reaping that karma you putting in the time right you keeping yourself focused on your mind and your emotions and your actions are very deliberate right you you, you yeah and it, it's given as well the number 19 in the major arcana the nine of fire and the seven of air so 19 in the major arcana is the emotions again you were able to step back and detach emotionally to process right the repressing emotions that created this ease within you right and so yeah you you address those symptoms of emotional repression right we have that um we have this seven of fire coming out this seven of fire is, is again, you understanding those cycles, right? Breaking those cycles and looking beyond the surface and, and, and really believing and trusting in the answers that you've been given, right? Heeding your intuition, right? Uh, and really just getting ready to feel that recognition that's coming towards you for doing the work, okay? And and as we close this one out, we have the seven, the eight, yeah, the seven of air. And the seven of air in this deck is all about, you know, that spirituality, that that you getting back to the fundals, the fundamentals, right? Um, you really lifting others up in this energy because you came from this place right you may be losing friends and family because of your beliefs right but it, it's the energy where again um 
these beliefs are going to make you a kinder person. I feel like that's something that you had to learn and had to, to kind of realize that it, it's time to seek a, a kinder approach here, okay? And so, especially because of your beauty, right? Your beauty and your actions, they don't match is kind of what I'm getting. So being in alignment with that, all right, with that energy, taking that mask off and just really, again, letting things flow without trying to control them, okay? So we have the little star coming out with your this divine energy, with you healing your inner child. So let's clarify that energy. So we have the four of earth coming out. And with this four of earth, it's pretty much, you know, all about you resting and recharging, allowing um, to... Um, take one step at a time to get that to get it done right you you understood the commitment that you had to put into the process um and it was very you know it was a diligent process right and so a good outcome is coming ahead because you you are steady progressing and you, you have done a, a lot right the universe sees the, the progression that you've done on, on your inner child because that's what's at the bottom the number three and the number three is about the youth okay you, you've done a lot of of like I say, inner child healing, and you freed yourself from doubts and fears, right? And you communicated and compromised with yourself, with you, with your inner child, and and now you're moving toward a new direction, right? Because you were able to again embrace your individuality, embrace your authenticity, right? And free yourselves from judgment, free yourselves from you know how other people feel about you, because again, we already see that you've lost friends and family along this journey okay so when it comes to this creation this manifestation that's coming in we have and you being this warrior we have the four of air so that's that's interesting okay because this four of air is it's about you know, you weeding out old habits, right? So that, you know, you can clear out and create structure in your life, right? It's about a, it's about discipline, right? It's about you, if you truly wanting something, you making time for it, right? Um, and I feel like you've removed those negative influences that were keeping you from doing so. And so that's amazing, yeah, you, you limited your distractions and your time wasters, and now you are, you know, following the routine, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Earth, which is all about, you know, that family and that community. But again, you know, you really getting in this energy where you are able to lead by example, okay? You are able to... um help people for the right reasons, right? You're able to um, really be in the energy of sharing, okay? Sharing, giving that love and support and taking and having the responsibility and duty to your family. So it puts you in the energy, again, to be uh, very self-sufficient. Okay, so we also have this radiant energy, and then we have the diamond. So the radiant energy, and then give me one for the diamond. What's the radiant energy? The radiant energy is coming out as the eight of fire and the diamond. The diamond is coming out as the two of water, okay? And at the bottom of the deck is the 14 of Earth, which is the King of Earth. So when we look at the Eight of Fire, this this energy that's blazing is is the energy of transmutation. It's the energy of change. It's the energy of 
you acting towards again a new connection a, a, a you changing on a physical level okay um and and i feel like this change is you know a renewed sense of purpose that allows you to stand in your beauty in another way to to provide self love to yourself in another way to nurture and, and keep that inner child healed in a way that you never once did right this is joy this is more um purpose in your life because you're creating things for yourself and, and it looks like you're calling in again like i say um this this couple this two of water here this This is you maintaining independence and avoiding codependent energies, okay? Which which is something that is very important at this time for you, okay? You're going beyond infatuation and attraction, okay? You're you're moving and elevating and, and calling in a deeper level of intimacy, okay? Where there's a meeting of minds and hearts, right? Um and that that's amazing, okay? That's amazing. Because what it is that that's coming in, okay, that you're manifesting here with this king of earth at the bottom of the deck is a, a life that is meant to be enjoyed, right? This is you paying it forward, being able to pay it forward, and taking pride in your accomplishments, right? And again, changes are getting ready to be made in your life and freeing yourself from control, okay? So that's amazing energy, all right? So we're going to go ahead and close it out. We're going to close it out with... Hmm. Let's close it out with a spell card so we can see what you manifest in. Even though we already see a relationship, let's see if it's something else. We have strength, okay? But what I feel like is you, yeah, there's a lot of glamour, okay? So I feel like you need to be doing um, glamour magic at this time, mirror magic, right? Um, actually um, looking into the mirror and calling in what it is that you see, speaking beauty over yourself, speaking self-love over yourself, right? And seeing the possibilities that um, are being being presented to you okay um because at this time you, your your magic is very powerful you gained a lot of strength to, due to this this battle that you've won okay so that's amazing energy right so it's just time for you to um be brave and true and bright right shine that light and just know that things are going to be the way that you want them to be as long as you can use your elements okay and call in this confidence okay um so amazing energy i hope this reading resonate resonates um i see this grace here and so blessings are going to come to you because you allowed yourself to set yourself free and you did so with grace that's that two of water right you um really connecting to your higher self and and really allowing that guidance to lead you towards your destiny okay so this is a very fertile time for you okay so just know that all right so that's what i have for you i hope it resonates love and light